What? I'm sharing a room with you? Uh, this has to be a mistake. I can't be sharing a room with you. I can't believe this. I was so excited going on this school trip, hanging out with friends, seeing the site, trying new food. But now I get assigned to share a room with you? This has to be a joke. I wouldn't be able to share a room with you. I don't care what the teachers say. I will find a way to get you out of this room one way or another. Well, you don't get to make the rules, idiot. Ugh, you're so arrogant. Shut up. I said shut up. I don't care what a loser like you thinks. You aren't worth my time, nor a mere second of it. I'm going to find a teacher and get this sorted out. You better be gone by the time I get back. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Why do I have to share a room with that dummy? I can't believe I have to share a room with their cute face this entire time. Just for one weekend. <sighs> one weekend. One weekend. Just one. The room is nice after all. And it's pretty big. I'm sure we can survive for one night as long as we ignore each other. What are you yelling at me for? Damn. It's my room also. Well, you aren't doing anything anyway, so what's the big deal? Ugh, get over it. Um, where's the other bed? The other bed? There's only one bed. Is this room meant for couples or something? I swear, whoever organized this whole thing... Ugh. I'm just waiting to find the hidden cameras next. What is this, some type of reality TV show? Join in us tonight while two classmates stay in the same hotel room. See what happens. No, you can't sleep on the floor. There's not even enough blankets to make a proper bed. Plus, I've done that before. It's horrible. Also, if you catch a cold, I'll feel guilty for being the cause of it. So that's not happening. I don't care, but I'm not that much of a witch to let you sleep on the floor. Well, I tried talking to the teachers. They said this is the best they can do for now. They will try and see if they can, I don't know, put us in different rooms or ask someone to switch, but as of right now, I don't know. Maybe we can get lucky and tomorrow they will find one of those extra beds or cots. I hear that they're not that bad in hotels. It's just one week, two nights. 
I'm sure we can survive. Even though I don't exactly like it all that much, we have to make do in the meantime. So, do you have some type of pajamas or something you sleep in? Just making sure. I don't know what you normally do when you get ready for bed. You could sleep in nothing at all for all I know. Well, good, you're wearing something. What? No, I'm, I'm not blushing. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm just still flustered from running to find a teacher and back and such. And besides, I'm not used to someone changing in the same room as me. Don't you have any manners or were you raised in the wild? You grew up sharing the same room as your sister. Well, that explains a few things. Uh, I'm just going to turn my back until you're done dressing. Are you finished yet? I'm not in a hurry. I'm just tired and I want to get comfortable for bed. That's all. Whatever. Are you done? Okay, I'm turning around. And this better not be some prank to tease me. Oh, okay, good. What am I supposed to say? Something else? Oh my god, you can't be wearing that to bed. It is so revealing. Have you any manners? Come on. This isn't some anime love hotel. And we're not a couple. I'm gonna go change and brush my teeth. Because I don't exactly trust you. Well, you might peek while I'm changing. I don't know you that well. And besides, I need to brush my teeth anyway, so I have to go in there anyway. Uh, might as well change in there too. Damn it. Why the heck are they so damn cute? <sighs> calm down. Calm down, calm down. Ugh, I'm blushing like crazy. And I thought my lipsticks were red. Ugh. Damn it. No, 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 no. Stop thinking about that, Ellie. Stop it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't think of them like that. It will just be too weird. Snap out of it. Damn it. How am I going to survive this? What? Yes, I sleep in this. I always get hot when I sleep, so anything long sleeve or heavy just makes me feel like I'm being suffocated. So I like wearing oversized shirts to bed. What's the matter with that? Wait a minute. Your cheeks are flushed. You can act all you want. I know that look. <laughs> and you can try turning your back to me all you want. 
But I bet, I bet you would give anything to look over your shoulder just to get a good enough look. I'm actually surprised that I'm having this much of effect on you. Am I really leaving you speechless? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> really? Because you're not giving me any snappy comebacks or, or intimidating insults. <laughs> Come on, let's get to bed and get one of these nights over and done with. <laughs> this bed is nice and comfy. I wish I had sheets like this on my bed. And this big comforter blanket. Mm. It's like sleeping on a cloud. Mm. 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 So nice. Uh. What are you smiling about? adorable. Stop saying things like that, you dummy. You shouldn't be saying things like that that aren't true. Here. Here. I'm making a pillow wall. You stay on your side and I'll stay on mine. Well, I want this side because... I always sleep on the right side of the bed. Yeah, I always wake up on the right side of my bed at home. And I sleep on a queen at home. Even if I fall asleep in the center of my bed, I'll wake up on the right side every time. So, I'm sleeping on the right side of the bed. Unless you want to wake up in the middle of the night with my hand in your face. Thought so. Ooh, and the nightstand has a built-in plug. Huh, fancy. Okay, let's see. Your bed's charged? Great. What? What's that look for? Yes, I sleep with earbuds in. Well, these are designed for people who sleep with earbuds in. At home, my parents snore pretty loud, so I need something to drown them out. Sometimes I listen to audiobooks, ASMR audio role plays, sleep aids, or a song I can relax to on loop until I fall asleep. It all depends on how my day went and how I want to relax. Today, with how everything has been, I think music would be best bet for me right now. What am I going to listen to? Um... I usually just play a sleep playlist, and when I find something I like, I just put it on loop. Wait, speaking of which, why do you care? You're curious. No, nothing wrong with it, really. Um, that's fine, I, I guess. We should get some sleep. It's supposed to be a pretty cool night. Moving 
around. Well, how can I sleep when you're moving every five minutes? I can't go back to sleep. When you move, you wake me up. And then just as I'm about to drift back to sleep, you move again. How can I sleep when you're moving around like that? Can you not get comfy or something? Too much on your mind. Okay. I'll bite. What's on your mind? Don't look so surprised. I'm not going to be able to sleep with you moving around so much. So, if I help you talk it out about what's on your mind, maybe that will help. I'm all ears, but I can't promise I won't accidentally fall asleep on you. Okay? So what's on your mind? This doesn't feel like home. Well, that's kind of the point. But... I get what you mean. Let me guess, you don't travel often or sleep away from home? That's okay. I was the same way at first. Well, you know how I moved here and new to the school for about a year. Well, I'm not exactly new, new. I mean, I lived all throughout the state here. It's just me and my mom keep on moving around. Better work environment for her, and she tries to make a living for us. So, getting to move every other year gets annoying. And it's hard to really find a place called home when home keeps on moving. So, it's okay. It's hard to sleep in a new place when you're not used to it. And for some people, it's different. And others get excited for a new place. But it's okay to feel nervous. And to feel unsure. I know what that feels like all too well. I guess it really depends on how you handle it. My mom used to tell me when I was a kid, it's a new experience. Well, yes, it can be a new experience and it can be fun. But it can also be scary if you're unsure. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it, but hold your breath and hopefully you get through it. Some things may be good, some may be bad, and some may be as horrible as sharing a room with a classmate. <laughs> but it's not going to be all bad. I sometimes found that keeping something that always made you feel secure helps a lot.
Um, Mom, you're welcome. Here, take one of my earbuds. Don't worry, I don't have an earworm or something weird. I'm listening to meditation music, something relaxing. Maybe it'll help you or not. If it does, you can listen to along with. But if it doesn't, you can just take it on and put it on the nightstand. I'll get it in the morning. Not a problem. This has also helped me with sleeping in a new place. So I get it. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, since we're being honest, I'm sorry for how I've been treating you, how I've been treating all of this. I don't exactly know why I do it. I just panic and end up saying something rude. I'm always used to people picking on me because I'm new. So I found a way to, well, defend myself before it even happens. But it's not always the nicest way. I don't like being rude. It's not fair to you to be treated like that for no reason at all. You don't think I'm that rude. Thanks, but I was still a little mean, and I'm sorry for that. Why did I? Because I might have, kind of, wanted your attention. What? No, I don't hate you. I don't hate anyone. Well, except for my stepdad, but he's a toxic turd. But I don't hate you. Quite the opposite, actually. What? No, no I, didn't, I didn't say anything. You want to tell me something? Um, okay, what is it? I am a horrible liar. <laughs> and I'm blushing. I know. I never said I was a good, a good liar. Uh, Why did you just flick my forehead at me? Then why did I fight and insult you when we got in here? Because I panicked. I was scared that if I hung around you, you would see how transparent I am. Given how I react when I am around you, I always worry you hate me or not. And I know that's no excuse for saying those things, and I didn't really intentionally try to hurt you. I was trying to keep my guard up when just looking at you 
makes me weak. Yeah. I might have had a huge crush on you. Have. Still do. I thought you were cute for the longest time. And I really like your eyes. I just thought you hated me since since you would argue and yell at me all the time. I can't tell you how many times I just wanted to push you against the wall when we were fighting and just kiss you to shut you up. How hard it is to keep my hands to myself. It's the reason why I always ball them up in fists. Nor stop myself from blushing so easily. You grab my attention every time you enter the room. And no matter what I do, I can't do anything about it to stop it. I'm not... I'm not used to opening up to people. Mostly because how I was raised to bottle it all up. But fighting with you feels... comfortable in a strange way. Like, it feels very neutral and easy in a way. I don't take my anger out on you like that. That's something someone else in my life has done and I don't ever want to be anything like them but I like you a lot and again it's not really right or normal to start fights with someone you care about and I know it's a jacked up way of showing it <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should have been honest up front, but like I said, I just panicked and I did what I did. What? You're sorry. For what? were fighting back with me when you felt the same way? Wait a minute. So, we've been fighting with each other because we like each other? Huh. Am I the only one who feels really stupid and like an idiot right now? You too. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, now that we cleared everything up, what does this mean for us? Well, I was gonna go sightseeing tomorrow. Would... Would you wanna come join me? <laughs> yes, this is my way of asking you out on a date. Why, do you wanna try and ask me out on a date first? So, what do you say? Would you want to go on a date with me tomorrow? Perfect.
Hey Wild Cards, did you like the video? If so, please hit that like button and subscribe so I can make more audios like this. If you're 18 and plus, then you can join my Patreon and Discord where you can have access to exclusive pictures, content, behind the scenes, and even early looks. You can even chat with me personally and a few of my friends who help me out all the time. You can even follow me on my socials to see what I'm up to. Thanks for listening, and as always, here's my son Will signing off. Subscribe!